We're in graphical analysis now, and I am just going to choose rotation, a rotation experiment. And right now, we're going to change this over to our table. Then we are going to share this with Microsoft Excel. Okay, let's do that again. So I'm going to convert and edit this one. And this time I'm actually going to call it, I'm just going to let it be 1.1. And I'm going to save it. So I'm saving it in my Dropbox. We have time here, position, y, uh, x velocity, and y velocity. We don't need the time right now. And I'm just going to highlight these two columns, or I'm just going to give them a color. I'm going to call them light blue. And then these two columns, I'm going to highlight yellow. And what we need, let me go back to some theory real quick. What we need, we are trying to calculate the angular velocity. And that's this omega. And so we're going to take V sub t, which is the total velocity. You basically have a x component and a y component, maybe which direction that's going to go in, but you'll have an x component. If this is a tangential velo velocity right here, you have an, a y component and an x component. All right, so we'll call this uh, v total right here. And so that particular vector, but you're going to have this vx and you're going to have this vy. And you're also going to have, an, you're going to have to have something to describe r, and R is described by X as well as Y. Okay, so we're going to go back. And that's what we're going to do now. Microsoft Excel. You see that we have X and Y. So that's for our R. So we're just going to insert on the left. I'm going to change this to maybe a darker blue. And then we have our velocity in the X and our velocity in the Y. So we want to over here and let's just make that dark yellow so the first one is going to be radius and that's going to be in meters and then we have our total velocity here or our resultant velocity now how about just our tangent velocity This is going to be in meters per second. All right, so now let's go ahead and calculate our radius. Remember, the radius is just going to be Pythagorean's theorem. And so this equals to SQRT, square root of our x squared plus y squared. OK, so we have our radius there. And all we need to do is fill. Let me go back, grab this, and select our fill. So we have fill handles. 
So I'm just, I'm just going to go down to 145. We have 144 points. And let that fill up for me. Work's done for that one. Now I can just copy that. And in fact, I will. Copy. And I'll just go over here. And I could paste uh, format. Ew, I don't want to do that. Let's see, undo. So I just want to paste. And now I don't want the same color. I want to change that color back to yellow. But now it's already calculating for me. It's just going to get the uh, velocity in the x direction and the velocity in the y direction. It takes the square root of the sum of those squares. And I just need to feel all the way down. There we go. <clears throat> So now I want to go ahead and find the angular velocity. So we're just going to call this and this is going to be in radians per second. And let's give this a color. Let's call this orange. You know what, that's not orange enough. Get more orange. And so that is just going to equal to the tangential velocity divided by the radius. And if I return, and if you look at that again, that was a tangential velocity divided by the radius. And here we have the tangential velocity divided by the radius. It's coming. We're actually able to get this out of our theory. So now, of course, we're going to fill this, take this on down. Hmm. All right. So now let's just go ahead and get our average. Average is around 2. So let's get our average here. And again, this is going to be in meters per second. So this is just going to be equal to the average of all of these numbers. And I'll just hit the check mark there. So we have our average there. It's about 1.88. Okay. So about 